Pantheon may not be what you expect, let's talk a little about it. Hey guys, how are you? I'm the Monio, the interdimensional demon who talks about Pantheon the most on YouTube, and you're on my channel. Pantheon is a series that is not exactly new, it was released in 2022 and is another one of those excellent, but little known content that was available in the Prime Video catalog, but is now arriving on Netflix, with the promise of becoming more popular. It's a science fiction story that deals not with artificial intelligence, but with transferred intelligence, which is basically you digitally coding each neuron of a person, making a digital copy of that individual's consciousness, making them technically immortal, which is a concept that became very popular with one of the episodes of Black Mirror, called San Nipero, but in this episode of Black Mirror, we have the most optimistic use possible of this technology, in Pantheon, on the other hand. We see a use that would be closer to what would happen in our world, if this technology became reality, which is the big corporations ignoring any ethical discussion, and using this technology to exploit these digital consciousnesses, making them work eternally. Obviously this technology would arouse the interest of the governments of the countries, which would start an arms race to use these digital consciousnesses for their own interests, whether they are military or not. But one of the most interesting things about this series is precisely the approach to the ethical dilemmas of using this technology to achieve immortality, while at the same time raising existential questions about what defines us as human beings and the power in relation to the technological world in which we live, especially in relation to the use of this technology by large corporations. And this is very well represented by the character Stephen Holstrom, who is clearly inspired by Steve Jobs. One very interesting thing is that, in a way, the series proposes an exercise in imagination of how humanity would deal with something that would be equivalent to artificial intelligence in our world, in a scenario where there was a super-powerful digital entity that could be a threat to all of humanity. And the series' response to this at the end of the first season is to disconnect the internet from the entire world, to preserve the world's security, a solution that I honestly don't know if it would be viable in our world, since there would be many commercial interests involved. In the context of the series, the world tries to adapt to these digital consciousnesses, trying to define and classify them, so that laws can be created, but they always come up against questions like, are people who have had their consciousnesses transferred to the cloud still people in fact? And these are questions that works normally portray with artificial intelligences, since it is much easier to define that something that does not have human origins is not human, but in the case of Pantheon the line becomes much thinner, and some things are very difficult to define. Another interesting point is that many people started watching the series without necessarily knowing its theme, and were surprised by what it deals with. For example, I had my first contact with Pantheon in a video on Instagram, which showed a fight inside a server between two characters who had their consciousness transferred. The fight reminded me a lot of the movie Chronicle, with characters flying and doing absurd things. I imagined it was a series about people with superpowers in the real world, and when I started watching it, I realized it was something closer to The Matrix. Of course, the action scenes are very cool, creative and well done, but they are not the focus. The series also has good animation and an excellent soundtrack, as well as interesting characters with very well-constructed arcs that will connect as the plot progresses. If you like science fiction, enjoy Black Mirror, and other works that discuss the use of technology, and haven't seen Pantheon yet, I highly recommend it. And for those of you who have seen it, what did you think of the series? Leave it in the comments, and if you like the video, subscribe to follow the next content. Until next time my people, Demonic Hogs.